Booney, time to wake up. It's time to wake up, girl. You can't lie in bed all day. There's sausages for breakfast. There's sausages. Yes, yeah, sausages. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Lazy girl. I know. I know. I know. It's a hard life. It's a hard life, isn't it? Come on. Come on. If you take this, if you still have a bed over there, if you still have a bed over there, look, no, you, you are tied up. Look, there we go. Good girl. Watch out. Here you go. You're not thirsty. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Look. <laughs> Look. Yes. Wait. You get it, that one. You get it. Good girl. Good girl. Shall we get a fire on the go? Hello everyone, welcome back to the Kukali Bushcraft channel. Okay, so, I'm here with my mate Uni. So I'm at the usual spot, I uh, come here quite often. And, uh, we got here last night. We came straight from work, uh, it was dark when we got here, and uh, what are you looking for? Yeah, we had some fun. Uni, Uni, no that's not the right place for you to be my love, that's not the right place for Uni, come on, Uni place, Uni place, okay because uh, Uni's on a line, a long ski yoring line and we were going through thick forest with no trail we went the wrong side of every tree uh, she's generally quite good at going back on herself and untangling herself she is quite smart but even so all of that in the dark and uh, we got wrapped around a, a tree in the middle of a marsh and Uni didn't want to go backwards because it was wet and yeah, we had a, a few little adventures getting here, but uh, yeah, most of today she's been asleep. Uh, don't do that, don't do that. Uh, so uh, Uni's three years old now, I think that's about right. We got her when she was one, so she's calming down quite nicely. She's a good little worker, she's got a good work ethic this one, very fit dog. Uh,
So in the in the sled dog world, I reckon uh, I reckon we're in for some pretty uh, some pretty tough times with uh, with all of the COVID and all of that. COVID, COVID, <laughs> COVID is a crow. <laughs> I get mixed up. <laughs> Shall I edit that out? No. <laughs> yeah, so if everywhere goes into lockdown again this winter, we'd lost the last little bit of the uh, of the sledding season last year. So we lost about the last the last few weeks, the last month or so. Uh, so financially, it could be a bit problematic. And uh, what I worry about is other smaller companies more than our own and uh, what they're going to do with the dogs so we've got a retirement uh, program in place most of our dogs when they retire they normally go to ex guides uh, the more difficult ones we keep ourselves uh, but I think there's going to be a lot of dogs with no homes as if we have lockdown again so I'll maybe do a bit more of an in-depth video about that but yeah uh, uh, not all not all husky safari businesses have the same kind of retirement pro program that we have uh, I'm quite worried that as if people can't find homes for the dead sled dogs they'll they'll just put them down which isn't going to happen at our farm uh, we we are actually a rescue centre. We do take a lot of unwanted sled dogs from elsewhere, uh, particularly from racing kennels. Uh, the dogs in racing kennels need to be absolutely top notch, whereas as if you're just running safaris, it doesn't really matter if a dog's a bit slow, you put it with a strong dog, and if all else fails, you can always put more dogs in the team. Uh, Oh, yeah, uh, people say that huskies don't make very good pets. <coughs> so, the bit of footage I've just put in there, that's not really typical behaviour. That's Pluto, and that's because there's 250 sled dogs outside howling, and he wants to be outside with his mates, but can't be because he's injured. No, uh, they're not really bad howlers in the in the house. Uh, they are a very very high energy, and there are rescue centres all over the UK, the United States, all over Europe, full of Siberian huskies, because everybody has watched Game of Thrones and they want a Siberian husky and uh, it's not like having a Yorkshire Terrier. Uh, the retired dogs are generally old and uh, yeah not all that energetic. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting older now I can understand that uh, but as if you do if you do adopt an older husky uh, you're also going to be taking on quite a lot of quite a lot of vets bills and you're not gonna have them for so so long so yeah uh, just a little worry uh, but I do think as if there's people interested in adopting a dog I think here in Europe presumably you've got uh, You've got a lot of sled dogs in North America as well. I think soon there's going to be a lot of dogs looking for a home. So as if people can maybe share that information in appropriate circles. Like I say, I'll be doing a more in-depth video about that hopefully soon. And uh, maybe have some footage of our retirees. So it's not so much our dogs I'm worried about. It's dogs in uh, in other locations, other smaller businesses, and uh, other businesses that yeah that maybe uh, haven't got the same 
ability to retire their dogs off that we do. We have quite a lot of interns coming through the place. Everybody has a favourite dog and basically, yeah, after the guides have left, a few years down the road, their dogs, their favourite dog will retire and they usually go to that guide. Uh, so that's how it generally works with us. But hopefully there's going to be no lockdown. Uh, I kind of think governments aren't really going to prioritise winter tourism very much and winter is when people tend to be more susceptible to viruses and things anyway. Anyway, we had fun getting here, didn't we, Uni, in the dark, through the bogs. You're so tired now, aren't you? You're so tired. She's literally done nothing. Oh, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I've been making some videos, and this one's just been sleepy. First thing I did when I got up was went to get water. I was thinking of taking her with me. She was like, nah, comfy, <laughs> not moving. Yes. Then I dragged you outside, didn't I? I had to, I had to drag the roll mat. And your toy? You've forgotten about your toy. <laughs> You're not interested in your toy now. Get some bacon on in a minute. See how interested she is then. You can't have no bacon. You can have a bit of sausage. We've got some sausage and some bacon. Bacon's a bit salty for doggies, I think. Winnie, do you smell something? Do you smell something? Winnie, sit! Alas! Alas! Good girl! Good girl. Okay, so this is what I meant about the trees. Uni, the other way round. Are we still excited? Are we still excited about bacon? Uni! No. Okay, Uni's not really focusing. She's still a bit excited by the smell of bacon. And as I go round these trees, she's following me. Uni, other way round. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got her on a long line. And it's basically a rope that's been bunched up around bungee cord. To give it a little bit of a little bit of springiness, if you can see that. Well, she's uh, harnessed up so it pulls from the back. And we're going for a little bit of a walk. I'm sure all of my subscribers recognise this place. I actually think Uni would be pretty good off lead. Uh, I don't think she'd be running away, but I'm not going to be the first person to, to uh, try that, especially not out here. I mean, there's reindeer around, and uh, Uni, there's reindeer around, and we don't want our dogs to be attacking reindeer. No, we don't. Oh, but yeah, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. This one, very well behaved dog. So we're ready to head off now, apart from apart from Uni's lines attached to her collar. I'll uh, clip it over to the back of her harness. But I'm just wondering how she'll do on the way back. Because on the way here, she wanted to go out towards the marsh, towards our safari routes, basically. As soon as we got off the trail, she was quite lost and confused. She did for a while find little trails and little scent trails that was probably actually my scent trails from uh, from previous visits but uh, yeah on the way back to the farm I think she'll uh, be a lot less confused 
I think her se sense of direction's pretty good. She keeps on wanting to take us across the marshes though. That big marsh, if you can see it over there through the trees, all of our safaris go out across there, or at least start on that marsh, which is where Uni wanted to go last night. We'd have got very wet, we would. So we're back on farm property now. You can hear the dogs over there probably. But uh, Uni led the way back. Just a couple of minor corrections from me, but she found it. No problem. She's a clever girl. Uni, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? I've probably edited in some footage now of the walk back and me and Uni exploring a bit around the lake. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, share, all of that stuff. And I'll see you all again soon for another Kookily Bushcraft video. Bye for now.